This is the beginning of part two of the video on how to install DNN on Amazon EC2. Okay, now after waiting about 15 to 20 minutes, I got the status checks as passed. Now what I can do is I can try my server. Let's just select the server and, and at the button here, you're gonna see a bunch of information about that server. If we scroll all the way down, you're gonna see something called public DNS. Let's copy this address here and let's open another page. Let's paste it there. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, it's coming up as the default IIS 7 uh, page, which means that our server is running. Now, next thing that we need to do is we need to retrieve the administrator password for that server. And that's where that file that we have saved before, it will come in place here. So to retrieve the information, to retrieve the admin uh, password, we just need to right click on the server and then go to get Windows password. Now, this uh, dialog comes up and what we need to do is we need to browse and find that file that we have saved locally. Okay, so I'm gonna hit browse. The file is already here as I have saved under downloads. I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna hit decrypt password. Let's wait a little bit. Perfect, so now again it says this is the computer name which we already knew. Uh, this is the administrator password and this, this is the, the user and this is the password. So let's just copy this information and save it. Now just hit close. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna try to connect to the server. Uh, there is a feature here when you right click on your instance that says connect. So let's click there. So here we can download a shortcut to our server. This shortcut is just a simple way of storing the information, the login information for uh, your server. And if, when you double click that shortcut, it will open via the remote desktop connection on Windows. So let's just download the shortcut file. Let's save it. And let's close this dialog. I'm gonna open my Windows Explorer. Here is the shortcut. I'm just gonna double click on it. Now it's asking for some security information. I'm not gonna ask this again, click connect. Now it's asking for the password and we have saved the password, but don't try just to copy and paste the password. Actually, let me try here because based on my experience, when I'm trying to copy and paste passwords to the uh, to, re, to log in remotely to a, to a server, it usually does not work. Let's give it a try here. Oh, see, it didn't work. So I have actually to type in the password. So, so I have typed in the password. I'm gonna click remember my credentials and I should be able to log in now. Let's see. Okay, it's just asking some security information here. Don't ask me again for that. Hit yes. And I'm going to start to connect to my new box. Let's just put this right here so we can have a look while it loads. Okay, so here's your new server, your new cloud server on Amazon EC2. If you click on start, you're going to see that uh, in all, all programs, you see that we have SQL uh, Express installed. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to download DNN to this server. How we can do that? We're going to just use, as we have not set up FTP yet, let's just use um, the browser. Let's just use Internet Explorer as it's already installed, as this is a Windows server. Let's fire it. It's just asking me if I want to send some information to Microsoft. So I don't want to use that. Okay, now let's go straight to Codeplex, where we can download .NET Nook right from it. So let's just paste, copy the URL, let's paste it now. 
and I'm going to hit enter. It's trying to load. Now, we are getting a warning here. And here's the thing. The Internet Explorer that is installed on the server, it's configured with a, with a bunch of securities around it. Because again, this is a server and you should not be browsing websites from that server. But because we need to do that right now, we're going to disable that security. And later on, we can re-enable that. But for now, because we want to download .NET Hook, we will disable that option. I'm just going to close this for now. I'm going to scroll all the way down, go to Start, Control Panel. Let's go to System and Security. Let's go to Administrative Tools and then Server Manager. Let's open that. Okay, so under Server Manager, on the, on, on the, in the main area, you're going to see Security Information. Let's click on Configured IE ESC. Enhanced security configuration. Let's click there. And then because we are administrators, we can just turn off for administrators for now. Let's click OK. Now I should be able to get back to the browser and download and visit the website without problems. Let's see. OK, so I'm still getting the same error. Let's try to close and close the browser and open the browser again to see if, it, if it's a matter of restarting this site, the, the browser. Let's try again. This is the end of part two of the video on how to install DNN on Amazon EC2.